Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to try something new. I've always seen these haul videos and I'm excited because today will be my first Dollar Tree haul. So I went out for essentials uh, one of these past days and I decided to stop by Dollar Tree since I did see they had interesting stuff. So I wanted to see uh, what it was. Of course, you know, uh, they let certain people in. I wore my face mask and of course, you know, we had to be six feet apart. So I was already out on the road, so I was like, let's just stop by. Other than that, I'm staying home, but I want you to see all the goodies I got at Dollar Tree. And remember, everything is a dollar, so I'll let you know what I bought. My plan is to keep doing more of these videos and then let you know, test out the products and let you know exactly what I think of them. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Team Johnson Reyes, since there I will let you know on the spot. Hey guys, I got this from Dollar Tree. This is what I think, etc. So, if you want to see my Dollar Tree haul, don't forget to like, subscribe this channel before we get started. So, I picked up some of the allures. Well, there's two of them. So, we're going to start off with this one. <laughs> I picked up with the Sensitive with Vitamin E Facial Cleansing Wipes. They are a dollar for 30 wipes. I think it's great. Also, the Pore Clarifying Witch Hazel. So, technically, for $2, I have 60 wipes. Now, as many of you do know who do follow me on social media, I've posted before that I normally use the Neutrogena, the blue packet. Now, I have sensitive eyes, so for that reason, I do try different wipes. Um, right now, I'm trying some that I bought from Sam's, and also uh, I've tried the e.l.f. ones. The e.l.f. ones are really, really good, but these I actually saw in a YouTube video these past couple of days. So I was like, I have to get them. They're a dollar. Let's try it out. Hopefully, they work. If they do, I will let y'all know. Also, guys, I got some hand sanitizer. They came in this little box with, it's actually a packet of two, so they look like this. So just FYI, guys, I already used one, so. <laughs> just FYI, these are not in the store. If you go to your Dollar Tree, not all of them have them, by the way. One that I went to actually has it by the register. When you pay, there's a little basket and the boxes actually are just stacked up. So all you can see is this and they're different colors. They have a yellow one for lemon, the normal one, and then the lavender one, which is the one that I got. And of course you can only buy one. Now I know in many states, hand sanitizer is really hard to find, especially online. Um, if you didn't have any before, I do because I'm a makeup artist and my mom does massages and facials. So she already had some bottles um, that we use on a daily. But I saw this and I was like, this is perfect because that way I can have a bottle in each single car in my boyfriends and my parents. And that way, as soon as we get in, you know, you have them, especially right now because I'm switching purses sometimes, you know, I'm trying to use smaller purses because we're just trying to go out for essentials and everything. So you forget to move your hand sanitizer from purse to purse. So this is perfect to have in the car. You can only buy one packet, but it's a packet of two. Anytime, you know, you can find them. It's great because here in Houston and Target, you know, you can get one of these for like $2.79 or something like that. And you can only get one. So this is perfect because it's a duo. Next, I got the Aroma Guru Dropper in Lavender. I got two of them. I've seen them on YouTube everywhere. So I wanted to try them out. Um, also, I want to try these out because I had bought some hand sanitizer before at Target in Austin. And it's by a brand that normally doesn't make hand sanitizer, so it kind of smells weird. And I'm big on it, especially for, you know, my family members and my boyfriend. My boyfriend touches his face all the time. And it sucks because I bought this big bottle and it's just like, it smells. You put it on and it's okay because I don't touch my face. But my boyfriend, and you know, at his job and stuff, he'll just rub it on and then go like this. And I don't want him to smell it because it just stinks. So for that reason, I'm going to try to fix it <laughs> I'm going to add some of these drops to it so it can smell like lavender so hopefully it works if not I'll use it for myself but also by the way this is not what they're for these are just to help you relax so especially right now mental health is very important so you put them in your wrist you rub it and you smell it you can put some right here too it just helps you relax um, it promotes whole body tranquility, it helps restore skin complexion, helps to soothe skin irritation and burns. So it actually has multi-uses and I think this is great because many of you know that this stuff is expensive. 
So I've heard a lot of Bolero. It's a brand that they sell at Dollar Tree and they had the hydrating body oil for face, body, and hair. And the smell, watermelon and aloe, it looks like that. I wanted to try it because it's for all skin types. It's advanced formula and it looks, in a way it kind of looks organic and anything watermelon I love. So I was like, I have to put it in my cart. So Dollar Tree carries makeup for many of you that don't know. They normally uh, have e.l.f. or L.A. colors, but this time I found hard candy makeup. This is a brand that they sell at Target, they sell at Walmart, and most of their stuff, um, they're not super pricey. They're kind of in between like Maybelline, CoverGirl, more like drugstore makeup, but at the same time, something like this will cost you about 5 to $7. So I ended up buying two for a dollar. These are the, in the color black is black, because as you can tell, I like my eyes to be dark. <laughs> they are Stay In Line 12 Hour Mechanical Eyeliner. So it has a precision tip and a built-in sharpener and smudger. So this is very interesting. That. So I got two of them. I think they're perfect. I'm going to try them on. And I hope I like them. I hope they're smooth. That's my biggest pet peeve. I hope that they're smooth. But it says here that it's for 12 hour smudge proof. So... I'll test these out. Then I got the LA Colors Wowie Lash Mascara, which looks like that. I got it because if you can see in the picture, it shows the brush like this. So I wanna try it out. It's in the color black as black also. Um, it has a curved brush. So that's exactly the reason why I got it. And just FYI, mascara, the moment you open it, it lasts you about three months. So I don't typically buy the big mascaras. I like to buy mini size like this because by the time I get to that mascara, I use about five mascaras. I don't like to always use the same one. I always switch it up. So I use about five mascaras at the same time. So by the time I finish it, it's like halfway full. And all of y'all know mascara, especially name brand mascara, is expensive. So for that reason, I like to buy these, which is perfect because I will actually use most of it. And I want to get my money's worth. And this is just a dollar. Also, guys, I've been looking for mascara wands. I was reading online that it's good to brush your eyelashes. So I haven't been wearing mascara. When I was working, I used to wear mascara every single day. Now, it's bad for you. I already have long lashes. Uh, they're natural. I don't wear lash extensions or any of that. But it's bad for you to always wear mascara. So thank God for, you know, this time being at home, I haven't worn mascara only to, you know, film. So I've been looking for mascara wands. The reason is I saw that it's good for you to brush your lashes. And also I'm using a lash serum to help them grow. I didn't buy that at the Dollar Tree. So <laughs> that's why I'm not going to show it to you. But anyways, I'll show you in Instagram stories or in Snapchat. But I bought mascara wands. There are eight pieces. They're from the brand Sassy and Chick. Sassy and Chick. So they look like this. So I bought this little pack. I want to test it out. I know you can buy some on Amazon, but I want to feel them. I want to see how they feel. So definitely let you know what I think of them. Then I bought the Cotton Rounds 100% Cotton. This is perfect so I can remove my eyeshadow, but also uh, to apply toner. So this is perfect and you get 80. I also got these microfiber facial pads. It's three of them. They look like this. So for many of you who don't know, you can use a brush to cleanse your face, but also sponges. This is something my mom uses um, when she does facials. So this is perfect because it has a soft side and then it has a texture side, so it helps to exfoliate your skin. So this is perfect when you're washing your face with cleanser. You just grab the little two sponges and you go like this. And it's perfect. You wear a little headband so you don't wet your hair and you just instead of using the brush. The brush I normally use when I have more time, but like right now I'm gonna take off my makeup. This is perfect to wash my face. So this video is more about beauty items you need from Dollar Tree, but I also got some stuff that I needed or some essentials uh, or some home stuff. So I wanna show it to you because it's like five items and there's no point of doing a whole video on it. So I wanna show you what I got. Of course, you know, we're all needing gloves. Plus I'm cleaning a lot. And I normally don't use gloves, guys. I'm sorry, I use Kame, I use Ahax, I use Bleach, I use Fabuloso, and I just use my hands. My mom is very picky on that. She says that later on in life, I'm gonna get really, really wrinkly and that it's bad for you. 
Now I do know that my hands do feel dry, especially because every time we're out or, you know, at all times I'm always doing, uh, I'm always putting hand sanitizer on my hands. And as you do know, alcohol dries out your hands. So I have been using hand cream, but right now that we're cleaning every single day, uh, like I'm cleaning top to bottom my house. So it, I do feel like it's drying my hands to use a lot of bleach. So for that reason, I paid attention to my mom and I bought some gloves. I actually bought two of these. I bought this big pack and then I bought these. I also brought, well, I already used it. <laughs> I I bought the little uh, tree freshener, little trees. I love the black eyes. It smells like a men's cologne. It's my favorite. I already put this in JP's car and I have to buy another one for my car. Um, I love a car that smells fresh and definitely this is the smell to go. At first, it does smell really, really strong, but later on the days, it starts diminishing, but it's perfect because it still smells. And I feel like I've tried the Febreze plugins. I've tried all these little things that you put in the little air vents and they work but some scents work it's not really about the brand or it's not really about you know uh how much they cost it's more about the scent so i actually feel like these are really useful these last for about two to three weeks so it's perfect and as you can tell i love candles i have all these candles here <laughs> so for that reason i got a candle lighter so normally I buy these at CVS or Walgreens. I have bought them at Target also. It costs you about three to five dollars. So when I saw this, I was like, for a dollar, I have to take one, especially because I normally have three at the house and right now one is the only one that works. The other two are already gone, I had to throw them out. So we needed this. And last but not least, I got the electronic wipes. Now, I saw a YouTuber do this. I forgot who it was. I didn't. I liked the video, but I didn't end up subscribing to her channel. So I've looked at so much. So to go back into my history, it's going to take forever. But if I keep seeing her videos, I will mention her in my other Dollar Tree haul videos. I saw one of this uh, YouTuber that she said she bought this and it was great. So I think this is perfect, especially right now that we're using all our electronics at home, our computers, our TVs. So definitely with me cleaning everything, these are going to come in handy. So that's all I bought at Dollar Tree. Technically, I spent about $17 at Dollar Tree. I think it's perfect. Uh, I got beauty stuff and home stuff that I'll be using. I want to use every single product and I will keep you posted on my story to see if I like them. They are dollars, so I don't like to waste product. I don't like to waste wipes, even if I don't use them. I will try to use the most that I can. And then after that, I'll pass it on to my mom if it's just like, let's say the wipes are too too dry or they hurt my eyes too much then I'll try to use them as much and pass them on to my mom but most of the products I do try to use to the maximum just because they're a dollar does not mean oh I don't like it I'm gonna throw it away you know I think right now with everything going on with us losing our jobs without you know we need to make sure that we're saving our money so I know a lot of people don't shop at Dollar Tree I think it's a perfect time to start doing it because right now for me it's important to save the money that I do have because we do need to get prepared and especially during this quarantine time you know you never know how things are gonna get especially with prices going up in food and for me it's more important to spend money on food than to buy this kind of stuff so for that reason you know $17 every month is not bad um, but I'm going to make sure that I use every single product. So don't forget to follow me on Snapchat and on Instagram stories. I post a lot. So I'll let you know um, all the different products, how they worked. And also, if you have any products that you went to, please let me know as there is a Dollar Tree by my house. I'm trying not to go out. So when I do go grocery shopping, I'll stop buying and see if I can get some of those products. I hope you like my video and I will be doing more Dollar Tree hauls.